Hi there, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a nozzle file using a growth feature in Painter 2021. Nozzles are a great way to cut down the amount of work you need to do. In this particular video I'm going to use a feature in Painter. It is under Effects, and it's under Esoterica, and it is Growth. Created a new image here that is 1600 by 1600 pixels. That's probably too big for nozzles, but I'm going to make a number of them, or a number of elements for the nozzles on these different layers. So I've created six individual layers. I've set my color to be gray in this instance. So to start, I'm going to open the effects, esoterica, and growth. Brings up this dialog box. This is the default. I'm going to go ahead and create, let's say, tumbleweeds. If you uncheck Fractal, then you get this kind of interesting, very controlled, different kind of shape. I'm going to reset it, and I'm going to go back and leave Fractal checked so I get a much more organic shape. I'm going to move the thickness down, because like I say, I think I'm going to do tumbleweeds. I'm going to move the branching up, something like that, and drag in the document to grow the pattern. So what I'm going to do, move this off to the side a little bit. Starting in the center, drag a circle in the document here. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to change something else here. Let's try increasing, decreasing random. Oh, let's increase it since it's more organic. I'm going to click and drag a little one off to the side here. Make the branches less. Drag another little one off. And it's OK if they're random like this because, again, if I'm painting tumbleweeds, random is a good thing. I will click OK. I'll select the next layer, hide this top one, and I'll come back up to it again. So I'll go Effects, and now it's listed as the top command in the Effects palette. And I'll change this up again here. So maybe I will increase the branches up a lot, maybe a little bit thinner. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to move the branches down or up. This is really whatever you want to do. There's no particular set thing I'm looking for except for some interesting kind of shapes. So drag in the panel and do this again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'll just make one on each layer. Select the next layer, effects growth, and I'll move it off. So well, that's really kind of crazy, so probably not that much. Move the branches up or down, draw a new shape. Click OK, come to the next layer, under Effects, Growth again. I'm going to reset it this time, just give me a fresh start. Leave that, move the thickness down. And maybe I'm only going to have a three brancher this time. So let's see what the fork ratio can do. Drag a new shape in here. OK. Click that off, show the next layer. Effects, growth, and let's increase the branches, and let's increase the random sum, thin out. Oh, that looks like a real good shape for a tumbleweed. We'll drag in here. Good. Click OK. And then in the next one, the last one here, we'll do the very last one. So growth. And I really kind of like this, so I think I will try increasing the branches. And I can get carried away with the forks. And let's go with that one. Again, it's experiment. You'll find some that you like, some that work better for you. Click OK. So now I have all of these, except for the first one, have only one image on them. I'm going to close these, and I'm going to cut out these extra pieces on this layer. So, Control-X, Control-V, back, and I'll cut out this last one. Control-X. So I'm going to select all these layers and turn them all on. 
They're nicely arranged already, so I'm going to select them all, hold the Shift key, select all of them. I'm going to come up under Layers, and I'm going to align them. I want them to line on the horizontal centers, and I'm also going to line them on the vertical centers. I'm going to do a Control G to group these. So here's my group, which is what we need to do to make a nozzle. I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to go ahead and crop the image. Maybe not exactly a necessity, but it just makes the size of the whole image a little bit smaller and easier to work with. Let me show media panels, nozzles. And I'm going to make the nozzle from the group. Now this looks like a total disaster, but don't worry about it. It'll be just fine. It puts every one of those individual elements on an equal size grid. And just by the way that I've got my color set right now, they're blending into the background. So I'm going to save this image. File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Tumbleweed. And I'll put an underscore and nozzle. If I don't do that, then I forget what are nozzles or what files are just RIF files. You must save it as a RIF file. Make sure you do that. So Tumbleweed Nozzle, and I'll save that. Now I can close that file. I don't need it anymore at this point. I'm also going to save this file in case I want to come back and use it for something else. So I'll save it as Tumbleweeds. But I don't need the nozzle end of it because it's not a nozzle at this point. So we've got the file. We can close that. Let me create a new file. And 1600, we'll go with that. And let's pick an image hose. It's the little hose icon showing some leaves or something coming out of it. I'm going to go ahead and use the spray. And I do have to load the new nozzle. It doesn't automatically show up. Load nozzle. I will to where I saved it. Say there's my nozzle file. Make it a little bit larger. And here it is. Now it's painting with the background color right now. And I've got the additional color at 8%, which is painting with a lot of the background color. If I move this up, now it's going to paint with mostly the gray color. So this is why. I build them with kind of a neutral color because I can adjust the color to whatever I want. And then you can add color to your nozzles as you go. Makes it really easy to use one nozzle for a lot of different purposes. This to me is how nozzles are most useful for objects where there's a lot of detail or you want randomness, that kind of thing. And we do want to save it. So what I'm going to do is We've got it loaded. Now I'm going to add the nozzle to the library. Click OK. And now you can see it's become part of whatever was the active library at that moment. I can click on it, and I can drag it and drop it in a new library. There is creating nozzle files from the growth feature in Painter 2021.